that light bar looks like just Casey highlights on steroids. This thing is wild. <laughs> All right, behind me is an incredible Deutsch off-road build. Check this thing out. You got the Alpha Rex front headlights. Of course, you know we love those. The Bomber Series bumper by ADD Off-Road. The KPMF wrap, that's an orange titanium, uh, ice titanium color that really is a showstopper. I love how they kept some of those you know, black elements popping through. Baja design lights from head to toe. And then the variant forged wheels uh, look really clean on this with a Cooper STT Pro tires. But check out the interior. The cat skin leather interior uh, is ridiculous. It's almost like a suede on the bottom, super comfortable. Uh, that is a major upgrade. We also have the Fout Motorsports uh, upper and lower control arms. This thing is insane with the live valve Fox shocks. Uh, very, very cool build. To complete the back, we got the ADD off-road rear bumper and a full-size spare, which is already reinforced with the Ford Performance uh, spare tire carrier. Great build. All right, check out this RTR Bronco. This thing is wild. We got the Weston front bumper with the Project X uh, lights both right here and also that light bar is, looks like just Casey highlights on steroids. Uh, this King suspension setup is wild. Get in there and showcase that. I don't know what the upper control arms are, but the Rika wheels right here aren't true beadlocks, but I love that color and that pattern is pretty great. We got the Falcon Wild Peak tires, and in the back we got a full-size spare with the uh, air locker uh, mounting system by ARB that also is gonna make sure this thing stays in place. Solid build. We got the Fusion Bumpers Bronco here, a Stormtrooper, black and white motif. The interior is super dialed. I do like this bumper with integrated winch. I like that it's exposed and matches the body line. The wheels are, <coughs> oh God, I can't even look at those. Uh, interior, look at this. I think catskin leather interior, two-tone, brown, white and black, three-tone actually, uh, with a matching dash. I think that's really clean. Uh, suspension wise, it looks like just a complete custom suspension setup. Uh, and then another, God, ugh. Oh, it's I can't even look at it. No deep dish wheels, please. All right, so this is not a Bronco, but it is an International Scout. Very similar body lines. I like these a little bit better. Wider wheelbase makes it so you're not as top heavy. We got the 392 engine underneath here, the original um, that has been restored and modified. And I love how clean these lines are. The interior is super dialed. It's just a really beautiful classic International Scout. We're in the Magnaflow booth with a wicked awesome Bronco. Check this thing out. We got the full Camberg. Uh, upper control arms, lower control arms with the Fox Performance. Uh, this is the heavy duty suspension setup. I believe, yeah, the long travel kit. Uh, not a ton of lift, but this thing is gonna be able to articulate and go anywhere. You got the GFC 10 up top, rigid lights, really awesome wrap. And I think one day we will definitely put Kainberg on our rigs, but uh, overall, sweet build at Magnaflow. If you are still watching this video, we are giving away over $1,000 worth of Rome Adventure Gear products just to our subscribers. No purchase necessary to enter. Just subscribe, hit the bell icon, and leave a comment below on your favorite build that we have showcased, and you're automatically entered to win. In two weeks, we'll draw the winner's names and notify you through YouTube. That's it. Subscribe, bell icon, you're automatically entered to win some awesome gear. All right, I'm in the spider booth with a pretty wicked, awesome uh, Ford Raptor build. We got carbon fiber on the sides. I believe that's real carbon fiber and not wrapped, which is a nice look. 40 inch BFG tires with the black Rhino wheels. I forget what the name of these are, but I really like that look. Uh, it's got stock suspension. It looks like a little bit of a lift, but also you have the Go Rhino side steps right here. And in the back, we have the ADD off-road front bumper. Um, interesting little, like how this comes out and the ADD bumper kind of tucks in. That's pretty cool, but uh, the Bronco Raptors are legit. Right behind me is the Tyler Robinson Foundation charity build that uh, is really cool looking. You got the BA 4x4 off-road bumper right here with the integrated worn winch, rigid lights from head to toe. I love the green and the gold motif. The interior, you can't really see it, but it's super dialed. You got the rooftop tent up there. 1552 color match wheels with the front uh, grill there. 
and then complete uh, Kamberg upper control arms, upgraded suspension setup. And in the back here, we got the full front runner set up with a little drawer, a slide out for your Dometic fridge, a little table. It's really seamless and packed and tight together so that you could take this thing off-roading. We also got a BA 4x4 off-road bumper. And whoever ends up winning this or bidding the most on it is gonna support a great charity. So awesome build. I check out this Cambridge Customs Bronco. Uh, not only do you have the Oracle lighting on the Bronco backlit, but this is my favorite bumper that I've seen at SEMA for the Bronco so far. The DV8 bumper, integrated light bar right here. Plus you have the Alpha Rex uh, front headlights. You got a really clean light bar up there. I'm not sure what that is. I think it might be Oracle lights, but look how low profile this is. Looks like it's part of the actual Bronco plus the Fiber X wide body kit uh, and check out these wheels, the TIS off-road wheels um, that you could actually take this outer rim off in case it gets banged up, which is rad. I don't think it's true beadlock, but still a really awesome build. Vertex Rough Country lift with a RC lift, looks like about four inches. This is one wicked Bronco. All right, I'm with the Skosh Bronco here. A couple things to point out. The five inch advanced fiberglass wide body kit is in my mind, so much better than stock. Gives you more clearance, looks way cleaner, gives that custom look. We got Rhino Line on the uh, front grill here. And then we also have a 2.5 inch lift Kamberg upper control arms. Look how heavy duty these are. That is insane. 37 inch Baja Boss tires and the 4WP side steps. A little soft top action, cool little Bronco. All right, at first glance, this Bronco Raptor looks pretty standard, right? You got the ADD off-road front bumper, the Fiber X works uh, wide body, but then it just keeps on going and going and going. And now you got a stretch limo in the form of a Bronco Raptor. Uh, this thing is rad. It's got the Alpha Rex front headlights, a uh, very custom job, extremely difficult to do and really sweet build. We're in the Hoonigan area with an awesome Deutsch off-road build. This Bronco has the ADD off-road bumper with some LP4 lights on there. Uh, ADD always does really good stuff. I love the, the Bomber series. These fuel wheels aren't my cup of tea, but they may be yours with some Mickey Thompson tires. Uh, we got a little bit of a lift on there and then also a sweet little trail racks rack. Now I remember seeing these guys last year, super low profile, uh, really lightweight and awesome strong racks, really cool company. Uh, and then besides that, it's a pretty basic build. It's just really classy. JCR rear spare tire, tire carrier for that full-size spare. And then you got the ADD off-road bumper in the back. Cool build, Deutsch off-road. All right, behind me isn't quite a Bronco, but it's called Bronxzilla, so we're gonna showcase it anyway. It's a retrofitted F350 with a 7.3 Godzilla engine, a diesel power underneath the hood. Uh, check out the back. They did a full chop right here to give that Bronco vibe and the amount of uh, space that the back seat has is pretty wild. Uh, this thing is is rad, extremely custom, but uh, kind of cool. A little retro vibe going. Got a sweet little Bronco here uh, with the King Quis Quick Adjust Shocks, the full Baja kit suspension setup. You know we love that. Uh, race line wheels, which aren't really my favorite. I'm not a big fan of the wide body, the Fiber X wide body kit, um, but I do think that the wrap on this is a really clean color and we also got the RC uh, reinforced spare tire carrier. We got a Max Lighter Bronco behind me with a really interesting paint job. Uh, I do like this bumper, especially if you're operating in an area with a lot of deer, this is gonna keep you safe. Alpha Rex front headlights, plus you got the advanced fiberglass wide body kit. Uh, looks like we have either sliders or steps. Uh, just some rock sliders right there and check out these wheels. These wheels are the TIS wheels that look really aggressive and, and clean, forged wheels so you know that they're uh, heavy duty. And then up top, check out this DV8 light bar uh, mount. I really like how clean that is, protects you from any brush that you might have. And in the back, this is a cool little rack system mule with the Agency 6 uh, handle right there, plus some Pelican cases, really innovative solution that you could also take off the front two panels of your Bronco still and in the back. Cool little uh, ruck rack setup. This is this is rad. Store some extra gear or use it as a little table uh, and then tuck it out of the way when you're driving. Awesome. I'm in the QuickTime Performance booth with a cool little two-door uh, Wild Track Bronco. I do like these Method racing wheels. 
the ability to customize in or that might even be painted on the rim, matching the color of the Bronco is pretty right. Besides that, there's not a lot going on besides the rock side engineering side steps. But the two doors are cool for what, they're, what they are, you know? Actually, on the back of this thing, it's pretty cool. You have a little custom door. It doesn't come like this. They did a spare tire delete on it, uh, and I do like that board right there. Plus, it looks like the Oracle lights flush mount uh, adds a really clean feature to the back of your Bronco. All right, I'm in the Anderson Composites booth, and this is deja vu because this Bronco was also here last year, but we got the full carbon fiber hood, the fender flares, you got some RRW Relations race wheels, which look pretty sweet in the bronze. And check out these doors, uh, doorless doors, just openings. But I think that's a really cool modification that if you never want to have doors, that is pretty sweet. It looks like we just got a stock rack on, up top and the Wild Peak uh, tires, the four-door Sasquatch. Pretty cool. The RC spare tire carrier. All right, I'm in the Cover King booth with the Metal Cloak Bronco. The wrap is pretty sweet on this but we have some Baja Boss tires with the Raceline wheels. Um, the Metal Cloak bumper is pretty clean. I really like the way that that looks. Uh, integrated Warren winch. You got the factory uh, tube doors here. And then besides that, uh, there's not a ton else going on besides uh, full suspension setup. Uh, you got Dirt Logic shocks, which are great shocks. We've ran those before. And then also it looks like a metal cloak upper control arm. Um, overall, solid build. All right, check out this Darth Vader Bronco behind me. You got the fender chop with some 37 inch Country Hunter tires by Fury. And then what I really like are these wheels, the KCI Forge wheels. I'm not a big fan of the spikes, but it does fit this build. You got full blacked out grill, blacked out front headlights, the super winch with the Weston uh, front bumper up top. We also got the Weston rack with the integrated uh, light bar. You got a huge side light here to blind any, compo <laughs> any competitors trying to pass you on the freeway, I guess. Uh, that might be a little overkill for camping. Um, suspension wise, I can't really tell what they're working with, but this rear bumper is really rad. You got the uh, spare tire delete kit by DV8, and then this Weston bumper is really clean, conforms to the body lines of the Bronco, which I definitely appreciate. Right behind me, we got an all female build out of Baja Forge. We love those gals over there. A really clean Bronco. You got the integrated solar on the roof with the advanced fiberglass hood, advanced fiberglass, I think two inch or three inch fenders, plus the Icon vehicle dynamic suspension, upper control arms. This custom Baja Forge bumper looks really clean and awesome. And if you come up here, I don't know what light bar this is, but that's kind of cool if you like that look. A Yakima rack integrated with the OEM uh, rack right here, a Yakima tent, and then the Power Step XL. Overall, really clean build, build awesome wrap. Baja Forge always does great stuff, and it's a uh, Bronco that's gonna be auctioned on eBay Motors, so check it out, Baja Forge. We're in the real truck booth with a pretty awesome Bronco here. I really like this bumper. This is a Havoc bumper with a rugged ridge winch integrated light bar uh, and besides that there's a lot of things that are stock except for these wheels these are fuel off-road wheels uh, these things are really clean and nice not true bead locks but i believe that you could take this ring off in case you uh, bang it up i like these side steps these are the havoc side steps and the interior is all stock but really those steps in the bumper are pretty red havoc we're in the Trail FX booth with an awesome little bumper here. This is a optional bull bar that you could take off and you could even take off the winch mount, which makes the entire bumper super streamlined and clean. But if you wanna add those things on, it looks like it's pretty easy to do. Up top, we got a sweet little rack with a Terra 4 awning. And then these side steps are pretty rad. Uh, we got the Warren wheels on there and suspension wise, you got the Dirt Logic shocks. Those are massive. I haven't seen a reservoir that big. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what, what kind of lift they got going on, but overall, there's some really cool products. And check out these fenders, the Trail FX fenders. That's definitely a different look, more heavy duty than the plastic that comes stock. That's for sure. We're in the Weston booth with a really awesome Bronco build. What I like about this bumper is the winch is hidden. You see the super winch is all the way down here, keeps it out of the way, except for the times that you need it, and conforms to the body. I like that you could have little pod lights right there, throw some rigids in, or I think these, I'm not sure what lights those are, but 
Uh, the wrap looks really clean. You got the advanced fiberglass wide body kit with some Weston wheels. I like those bead locks. They're really cool, especially if you like that aesthetic. Uh, and then we got the full King Reservoir shocks on here. And this rack system is pretty legit. Check it out. Uh, it doesn't go the full length of the Bronco, so it seems, stays nice and streamlined. You could put anything that you want up there and still have the ability to uh, off-road and not worry about things hanging off the side. Weston. I'm in the Rockside Engineering booth with an awesome Bronco Raptor. Check this thing out. You got the KMC wheels, true bead locks. This thing has seen uh, some action. And of course, the Rockside Engineering side steps that we've all come to love. Uh, these are an awesome product that you could bang up and still use as a step. Uh, overall, love the black, uh, black on black with a little bit of red accents. And in the back, this is one of my favorite tables. This thing completely folds up and out of the way and you have two levels so you could cook right here and or put your stove right here and have everything else. A little fridge and overall, Rockslide Engineering always does really great work. We love those guys. All right, I'm in the Winbo booth with a Bronco with uh, some cool products on the side. If you like these fenders, I think it's an upgrade from the stock fenders. Uh, you have some side steps right there. It looks like just amp research or something along those lines. I like this little storage compartment. That's pretty rad. You got a rooftop tent, which looks pretty standard. But on the other side here, check out this full Max Trax and Roto Pack and a high lift jack solution. Uh, no need for a spare tire when you got all this because you just get yourself up and out of anything. Um, the only other thing I liked on this build, check out these, uh, check out these doors. So tubular doors, but these are definitely more heavy duty for if you want some more protection, these are gonna protect you. And these side steps are pretty rad, Winbo. We're in the body armor booth with an awesome Bronco Raptor. Check out this front bumper, really clean. I like how it conforms to the body as you know, that is one of my biggest things that I look for. You got the Alpha Rex front headlights, tons of rigid lights land, mounted on the bull bar and up top. Check out this rigid mount. That's really clean, holds all of your lights up top. And what's crazy about this, this is dual channel. Each one of these needs to be daisy chained in, which is not uh, a uh, easy feat by any means. Cool wrap, awesome Bronco. I mean, it's a Raptor, this thing is badass. We're in the Black Horse off-road booth with a unique Bronco. I like those fuel off-road wheels, the orange and the blue coming together. Uh, you got these Black Horse side steps, which are pretty rad, and uh, Black Horse rack up top. I do like having a rack without a, a actual uh, cover on it. What is this called? A, a roof? Yes, roof. <sighs> Moving on. I'm in front of the most, one of the most impressive builds at the show, this Bronco at the Vanguard booth. Uh, check out this full suspension setup. It's a Belltech lift uh, on there with the Vanguard rack is also really rad. Check this out. These side steps are super clean. I'm not always a big fan of side steps that stick out, but uh, does provide you some space in order to step up. But this rack is really clean, works with the soft top or hard top, uh, and has some Pelican cases up there. Overall, really cool build with some awesome race line beadlock wheels. We're in the 3W Auto Life booth with a really unique Bronco. We got the Bomber Series bumper right here, but check out the independent front suspension. This is the Bronkbuster portal axles, which allows you to have, uh, imagine getting like a Dana 60 or a Dana 80. This is gonna really beef up your axles so you're not gonna blow them apart when you have 40 inch tires on there. You don't have to re-gear. Instead, you put those on and you're good to go. Bronkbuster, awesome products. We love those guys. Uh, check it out if you want a portal axle. All right, we got a Quake LED Bronco here and check out this brush guard by Bodyguard. If you are somewhere where deer are a problem, this thing uh, isn't gonna give those deer a chance. Uh, being in Southern California, we don't see a lot of these, but I understand the value. It's got a sky lift uh, on here and then suspension wise, it has nothing. Sick. Rockside Engineering side steps. You got the factory soft top and then some big old Quake LED lights up top. And some pod lights. Interesting wrap too. I'm in front of the Racket Bronco and check this thing out guys. We got the True North Fabrication front bumper, a small company out of Florida that 
This is a really sick looking bumper. I love the fact that you have a place for all your lights. And check out this Mac Mag magnet. I don't know if you've ever seen this before, but this is not a vinyl wrap. It is a magnet that you can actually pull off, clean off, and re-stick on, which is pretty rad. Now the racket system is completely modular. You could take it on and off really easily. Lightweight, 500 pound dynamic capacity, 800 pound uh, full capacity on these racks for the Broncos. Um, and right now we got a rooftop tent on it and then this thing is pretty rad in the back. I love this. The ability to have some additional storage on the side um, that I'm assuming is optional. And then in the back here we got a full little kitchen setup which is rad. The Iron Man 4x4 kitchen in a box. That is cool and some also a little table with some molly panels which is rad. Uh, check out Racket. Really, really cool racks. Check out this green with MV Bronco Raptor that is a bodyguard bumpers build. All color match from head to toe. Really cool emerald green. Uh, this bumper is crazy heavy duty. Bodyguard makes really quality products with the integrated winch. Um, as far as wheels and tires go, these are the Toyo Open Countries with some hostile, uh, not true bead locks, but you can take that off. And then we got full billet FMI, uh, Foos Motorsports, uh, upper control arms, and these side steps are really clean. Really great attention to detail. They made sure that to do a really good job on the paint. The paint looks incredible. Um, and you got this factory suspension on there. Check out this rear bumper. Uh, not only do you have 40 inch open country tires, but uh, the full size mount fits right there. And then this bumper is really clean and awesome. Got the Expedition One Bronco here with an awesome little brush guard. And then on the side, I like these side steps, uh, but really the mule rack is where it's at. Super low profile, really contours to that roof line with your ability to add a little uh, light bar if you like. Yeah, it has to be a light bar. It can't be pod lights in you unless you have something that goes across. Pelican cases up top. Uh, the Black Rhino, I think those are the armor, Armory wheels, I believe. And then uh, the Expedition 1 rear bumper, really clean, solid build, looks like a lot of fun. These jerry cans are no joke either. Expedition 1 jerry cans, these things are monsters. Four gallons each, not bad. We got the Buckin Bronco Off-Road Bronco here. Uh, not a lot to go over except for these wheels. You guys got to help me out on these wheels. I don't know what they are, but they're classic and sick with some BFGs on there. I don't really like the side steps except for the fact that you could take these off if you wanted to do some rock crawling. If you look on the interior, those seats have a little custom logo, which is pretty dope. Uh, the brown saddle leather interior. And besides that, it's pretty stock, but those wheels are dope. Let me know in the comments what those are. Let me know in the comments what those are. All right, it wouldn't be a SEMA Bronco video without checking out these Bronco uh, fun haver vehicles. These guys have been ripping them up. You've seen them on the trails. Lauren Healy winning the King of the Hammers in one of these rigs. Uh, they are insane. There's a ton of videos of content on there, so I'm not gonna profile it here. I'll just leave you with a quick little shot of these beauties in action. We got the RTR Bronco behind me. Uh, this thing is brand new, 2024, the Rover uh, model. I'm not sure exactly what that means. Let me know in the comments if you know. Uh, these side steps are pretty sweet, but then we also have this wat rad uh, molly panel rack that you can mount anything that you want on top. Fits with a soft top and a hard top, and there's not a ton of aftermarket parts. This is stock for the RTR model, and it uh, definitely looks rad. Wouldn't be complete without a mammoth sticker though. A vintage Bronco looks like 1970, 72. That is a full uh, restoration. You got a Whipple supercharger on here. And based on how small this Bronco is, that means it's very dangerous and not for the team at heart. Uh, we got Dana track one ton axles, it looks like, and a full steering kit. I love the drill into the details on it, but uh, I just say, at first glance, this thing is absolutely beautiful. Really awesome color too. 
I've got a Fusion Bumpers Bronco behind me in a seafoam green, which may not be for me, but some of you out there will definitely love it. I just really love the black and that seafoam, how it comes together. I don't know what lights these are. Oh, these are the Bronco standard. Wow, those are not, how is, I'm confused. These look like aftermarket headlights, but those are definitely have the Bronco insignia on there. Let me know what exactly is going on there. I love the paint matched uh, control arms here. It's a Belltech lift at least four or five inches of lift 37 inch falcon tires got some rock sliders on there but i think overall the real kicker on this is a this this wide body kit that i don't even know what that is either super custom build that uh i'm at a loss for words on this one behind me is a lone star ring and pinion bronco red wine blue with the texas flag uh these boys were not messing around when they built this thing 43 inch baja boss uh mickey thompson tires baja pro and then we got the one ton axles, fully uh, custom lift kit on here, all fabrication custom done by that. They wheel this thing all over the place. And uh, this thing is the biggest six gen Bronco in the world and rightly so, it is wild. They're gonna do engine swap and some other cool stuff on it, but they claim with 538s, this thing can still wheel with the best of them. And I believe them, this is a really awesome Bronco and it's a monster.